Alrighty guys, you guys know what time it is when I am starting filming in the car. Dave got home, we had dinner. I haven't been out actually since my last thrifting video. So it's been a long time. And when I mean out, I mean like by myself, me, myself, and I, no kids. So I am so excited about this. And we are going to be heading to two thrift stores. I'm hoping, at least that's the plan. Two thrift stores, you guys know I love my good stuff thrift. And you probably heard this spiel 20 bajillion times, but... At Good Stuff at Thrift, the hardcovers are $2.50, paperbacks are $1.50, and then if you go to YA, the hardcovers are $2 and the paperbacks are $1. So can't beat it, can't beat the pricing. And then I plan to head to Second Ave Thrift. The books are a little bit more expensive, not by much, and they do have the buy four, get the fifth free. And it is also Tuesday, so they have a 25% off sale on top of that. So we're going to be heading there and then I'm hoping to hit Barnes on the way home because it is April 2nd and there are so many new releases coming out today. So we are going to head there too. So that is the plan for this video. I'm hoping to get as much footage as I possibly can. I did want to say because I did have a couple comments on the other video like you go thrifting but you don't really buy that many books and I have to say I have been thrifting for so long that I have a good book collection at home. But not only that, I also have a book budget every month that I like to stick to personally. And there are certain books on my radar. So if you don't see me buy any books, that is why I am going to have, I think, a pretty big book haul for you guys at the end of this. And I'm glad to be bringing you guys along. Alrighty guys, editing Laura coming at you. And I wanted to throw this in here because we have hit 700 subscribers, which is just completely crazy to me. I started this channel mainly because I don't have very many people to talk to in real life about books and I just love coming on here and being able to chat with you guys. I met so many absolutely amazing people but I wanted to do a little giveaway and with that I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I know that my thrifting and book shopping videos are some of my popular videos on my channel so with this being one of them I decided I would throw this in here just so that more people are able to see it and enter so what I'm gonna do is for the first day the first 24 hours this video is up we are going to be doing a giveaway so if you are seeing this video it will really comment anytime you would like but if you're seeing this video specifically in the first 24 hours and you want to be entered into this giveaway, make sure to throw a comment down below. Now this can literally be anything from your favorite book to if you thrift or not to any five star reads or literally anything high, you know, anything works. Throw a comment down below in the first 24 hours and you'll be entered into the little giveaway. So what I'm going to end up doing is I will pick someone from the comments and I will be giving out a $25 Barnes gift card. If you don't have a Barnes near you, we will work something out. And in order to pick the winner, I will do like a wheel to spin. And that's how we will do the winner of this giveaway. But I am so excited about this and I can't thank you guys enough. Seriously, I am so, so appreciative for each and every single one of you who are on my little corner of YouTube. It's been crazy. I've been having so much fun. And again, guys, I cannot thank you enough. So if you want to enter in the giveaway, make sure to leave that comment down below. And again, I can't thank you guys enough. So on with this video. And let's get going.
Alrighty guys, it is a couple days later, but we are here to see what I hauled from the thrift store and Barnes & Noble. I did get some things from two places, so I did not end up getting anything at Good Stuff Thrift, but I did end up getting a good stack of books from Second Ave. So I know that's not where I normally like gravitate to for thrifted books, but they did have some really good picks. So I ended up doing the buy four get the fifth free and I will tell you which one I ended up grabbing for free because there wasn't anything really sticking out to me and then I saw this book and was like I thought of something and I was like I'll grab that one and see how it is. So let's go through the books that I got at the thrift store. So the first one that I ended up picking up at Second App was Little Secrets by Jennifer Hillier and it was $2.99 which you can see there. So there is this one. I've been wanting to read something by this author for a very long time and when I saw this I was like I am definitely picking this one up. So I grabbed it when I saw it and was super excited to find this. The next one I grabbed I actually read something recently by this author and absolutely adored it. So when I saw this author again I do see her quite often in thrift stores but I haven't seen this specific book and the cover. The cover is just stunning. So this one is The Dutch House by Anne Patchett. The cover is just phenomenal. This one was $3.99. So like I said, while the prices aren't as good as Good Stuff Thrift, they are still super cheap. And just a quick reminder, it was still 25% off of everything because it was a Tuesday. So there's The Dutch House. The next one, I feel like I've seen a lot of people reading these recently. This one is a, it's technically a first in a series, but they are, I believe, like interconnected standalone series. So this one is Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. There is that one. And this one was $3.99. And I'm excited to jump into the series. I've heard people really enjoy it. So excited about that one. And then for the fourth book, I love historical fiction when I pick it up and read it. Now, do I pick it up and read it often? That's another question, but I do love it when I do read it. So I grabbed this one. This one is The Diamond Eye by Kate Quinn. I feel like historical fiction you can find very often at thrift stores. So I grabbed this one. I have yet to see this one in a thrift store. So when I did see it, I did grab it. This one was also $3.99. And then for my fifth book, so those were the four that I knew I was interested in when I saw them on the shelves. Let me see. Let me turn them around for you. Those were the four I knew I was interested in. Now, this next one, I grabbed it because obviously with being interested in those four books and the buy four, get one free, I knew I could get a free book. So I was looking around and I wasn't really finding anything. And then I came across this book, which I don't know if Kayla read it in a reading vlog or she just mentioned it or... I think it was like one of the ones where she picks out a book that someone had picked for her. So this one is called The Dove in the Belly and this is literally the only reason I picked this up. I don't really know much about it but I saw the title and I was like I'm just grabbing it because I wanted to get to Barnes & Noble as soon as possible. So there is The Dove in the Belly and this one is $3.99. And if you have never picked up this book, this is a hefty feeling book. Like it's not thick, but it is like such good quality. You can feel the quality just from like picking it up. I was shocked at how heavy it was. So there is that one as well. I didn't see, that's a really pretty naked cover too. I saw the naked cover peeking out from the bottom. I was like, it looks like there's something on there. There is. So that is what I got at Second Ave Thrift. Now, after that, I went over to Barnes & Noble and I had a good stack of books in my hand, but I was like, I cannot buy this many books. So I ended up putting some back. The couple I put back, I regretted instantly. I put it back a Fate Inked in Blood and then also The Warm Hands of Ghosts. If you have read them, leave your opinions of them down in the comments below. I've heard really good things about both of them, so I know I'm needing to pick them up soon. So anyway, the ones I got at Barnes & Noble, I only got one novel and then the rest are manga. So the novel that I got, this one I went on release day for. This one was Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. This will be my first ever Abby Jimenez book and this was my sole reason for going to Barnes. I needed to pick this book up. I've heard absolutely amazing things about Abby Jimenez's work. 
So that is why I went there and I was so excited to grab this. And then as far as the manga goes, I did read two of these already. So one of the ones I read was the Dangerous Convenience Store Volume 2. I have things to say about this. You'll have to wait until my wrap up. But if you are someone who likes mostly strictly spice without very much plot, this series is for you. I don't know if I'm going to continue it because I feel like it is mostly just spice and while I enjoy spice I also need a plot going on and I have to say that the like end scenes in this I forget what they called it I think it was let me see I'm gonna check it out side story the side story at the end of this is what I want to see more throughout this book and the fact that it's just like one side story at the end I want I want more of it I want more of a plot so there is the dangerous convenience store a volume two and then the other one that I read was The Invisible Man and His Soon-to-Be Wife, Volume 3. And with this one, I think it is super cute. I love the little blue background. I Like I said, I think it's cute. But what I love about this series is I get so interested in the side characters. And sometimes even more than the main characters, you know, I don't know. I feel like the side characters and like what goes on with the side characters is more intriguing than what goes on with the main characters most often. So that is kind of my thoughts and opinions on this series, but I did grab this. I do think it's a good time. I have a good time reading it. It does keep me interested, especially with the side characters. So there is that one. And then the next two are part of the same series. I didn't mention. This one is mature. So it is plastic wrapped normally. Obviously I read it, so I had to undo the plastic wrap. But this one is another plastic wrap series, so it does have mature content. These two are volumes two and three of Yak is a Lover. So there's volume two, and then there is volume three there. And I picked these up because I read volume one this past month. And I have to say, while this series is absolutely ridiculous, I still did have a fun time reading it. And when I say absolutely ridiculous, it's like, I don't know, it's a good time to read, but it's like not something that would happen in real life and like kind of just like out there but the mangaka even says like she knows these are absurd and like that's the fun part about it so I got volumes two and three of that and that would wrap up what I got at Barnes so as you can see I didn't grab all that much I did have a ton in my hands but that is what I ended up walking out with but anyway guys thanks for sticking with me for this video I truly appreciate each and every single one of you and if you like this video make sure to give it that thumbs up and if you want to stick around for more bookish related videos make sure to hit that subscribe button because I would absolutely love to have you thanks guys again and I will see you guys soon